Yo, bloody actor here guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. As you know, I'm here to showcase what you guys are rocking, so keep your negative comments away from the comment section. If you enjoyed these videos, be sure to subscribe, share them with everyone and anyone, and be sure to also hit me up if you want me to come check your setup out. Hit me up on Discord, Instagram, and on the comment section on YouTube. Today I'm at Excalibur's place. Uh, I think those on the plebs. Is it plebs? I'm an gamers United. Ilias, I do Plebs. plebs. If you're on plebs, if you're on what we're gaming, I think I can alumi know him and uh, I'm Elia San and Ikuje. I'll go on a teta and I'm a panda to fourth floor up. <laughs> but yeah, let's go check his out about. So yeah, guys, uh, come check his out about. As you can tell, I'm already in the room and. Uh, Here's a look at his setup. Looks clean. This guy is a racing sim guy. Yeah, those are the kinds of games he likes playing. Two screens, which tells me he's a developer. Pretty sure that's uh, something we will talk about later when, when we get to the question sections. But uh, yeah, let's uh, check what this guy is rocking. For the PC case, he's rocking the Gateway DX4860 PC case. As I'm sure you can tell, this is a quite um, a classic and older style design for a PC case. But I mean, it gets the job done. Inside the case, we have an Intel Core i3 4570, 4 core, 4 thread CPU. Cooling this CPU, we have a Cooler Master standard CPU cooler. For his RAM there, he has 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. For the GPU there, he's rocking a 4 gigabyte kit from NVIDIA. This is the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti from Gigabyte. Notably, as I'm sure you can see, the graphics card doesn't have power pins, so it does not need a power supply to power up. It draws power from the motherboard. For his SSD there, he is rocking a 512 SATA SSD. This is a 512 gig SATA SSD from Wall RAM. For his hard drive there, he is uh, using a 3 terabyte um, WD, Western Digital Red Storage Hard Drive. All of this is mounted on a Gigabyte B85M D3V plus motherboard. Quite a mouthful quite a mouthful now powering this whole unit we have a sate super power pro 580 500 watt power supply now as i'm sure you can tell if you're quite pc savvy that these are quite older parts but again it's more of a case of the pc aging like fine wine heading over to his monitor there he is using a hp pavilion i don't know whether this is a tft or an lcd panel but uh, the monitor is 23 inches paired up alongside it we have another 23 inch dell flat panel monitor there is also another third monitor which is a 65 inch lg nanocell tv these monitors are mounted on their own original mounts um, for the two monitors, the HP and the Dell. They are on top of a homemade stand, as I'm sure you can see. Moving over to his keyboard, um, we have a Logitech G12, uh, G213, not G12, but G213 Prodigy keyboard. Really nice. Paired up with this keyboard, we have another Logitech item, which is the Logitech G502 Hero mouse for the mouse pad there he is using a glowing cool professional game light emitting mouse pad <laughs> that is what this guy has written so glowing cool professional game light emitting mouse pad um for his controllers i do notice uh, i did notice i do not include the controllers but uh, i should or i am starting to include them but he is using two xbox one s i do believe this is the one x wireless controllers because i don't remember the one s controllers are the ones with bluetooth paired up with a racing wheel from logitech this is the logitech g29 racing wheel which 
comes um, not comes but um, he has bought the racing wheel with a shifter and uh, these two items are mounted on a DIY rather do-it-yourself stand for the headphones there he is using um, the blue Dio TMS headphones uh, he occasionally uses the Orimo free pods also, he also uses um, a Sayona 4.1 inch SHT 1148BT subwoofer. Holy shit, that's a long name. But um, at the time I was recording that video, he was planning to change his headphones. So at the moment, he is uh, using the Logitech G Pro X headphones, which uh, has a mic, so that's um his current microphone at the moment we shot the video he was using the orimo free pods pro as his microphones heading over to the chair there he is using the ergonomic he's just using an ergonomic office chair but, um, heading over there to his isp there he is using a third party solution which is the itech home internet and i can tell you guys it doesn't get more third party than this because i tried even looking for this guy's website and anything did not find so i only have this poster that excalibur sent now the total estimation that excalibur has written here is 90,000 kenya shillings which to be honest or to be fair in this modern day and age um this system is quite old so i think at the time he was assembling it probably 90,000. but at this day and age it should be cheaper all right uh, what do you use this setup for <laughs> So I use this setup for work. I do programming, design, and also for Sequel Kefika, I use it for gaming. So the usual fighting games, racing, yeah, iso. Did you assemble everything, Ama? You bought everything at once? Uh, assembled, uh, but gradually over time, we do a budget, maze. So everything was added bit by bit, gradually. Adi mefika apa. Where did you buy most of this stuff? <laughs> Uh, most of them in Kenya, uh, apart from a few peripherals that uh, shipped from Amazon. Using service store? Eh? Uh, nani? No, no, no. I happen to know someone who was traveling at the time, so Nikadandia. Yeah, but that's usually another option. <laughs> so, what do you like about this setup? Um, I like how it's able to do all the things I want: uh, working, gaming. Uh, and also I just like how it stand out and how it holds up to most games. I can do 1080, 60 FPS gaming really well. So, yeah. What are you planning to change? The setup. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, it's been built, you know, it's a kind of a fifth gen setup. So uh, definitely upgrading that. It's, ta upgrading. It's, it's starting to show its age. Yeah, so <laughs> if you want to do 2K, 4K gaming, more, more FPS, yeah, I won't be able to do that with this. Right, your internet. Uh, how is your internet? Uh, my internet is good when it's good. Uh, Safari common fiber are in the area but not in the building, so I use a third party called iTech. So yeah guys, we've come to the end of this setup video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share. And uh, yeah, be sure to hit me up on Instagram, Discord, and the comment section if you want me to come visit you. And uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say other than I should see you in the next one.